Oh my god, I forgot my headband. My females or males who are hairy out there, I feel you. What the heck is this a... Hi, hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Miranda and be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel before we get into today's video. As you guys can tell by today's video, I'm going to basically be showing you guys my facial hair removal routine that I do. Oh my God, there's lint flying everywhere. So in today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to remove facial hair of your upper lip, like your upper lip area, and also your sideburns. My upper lip right now looks crusty right now because this is like my full grown mustache. Like it's ridiculous. Like you can see my freaking shadow of my mustache right now. But I purposely wanted to grow out my mustache and also a little bit of my sideburn hair. So that way I can show you guys on how to remove it. So if you guys are interested in wanting to know how to do how to remove facial hair at home and not having to go you know to a place and pay for it then go ahead and keep watching so i do want to put out a little disclaimer before i get into the video actually this is what i do at home um i'm no expert at removing facial hair so if i do anything wrong i'm sorry you guys this is just how i do it and if you guys are interested on the way i do it then keep watching so first when removing facial hair the worst thing that you can possibly do is shave it with an actual razor because because that's gonna make your hair grow back thicker and also it's just gonna cause stubbiness on your face so that's what we're not gonna do in today's video what I normally do when I remove my facial hair is I use two different products on my face so the first product I use is hair removal wax I use that to do my upper lip I love doing wax I prefer to do wax on my upper lip because the best thing about it is it really gets down to the root whenever you remove your hair so it will not grow back stubby or anything rather than you know like shaving your upper lip which you should not do and there's other ways you can do it like threading epilating your upper lip those are proper ways you can remove your upper lip hair because that actually gets down to the root of your hair and doesn't cause stubbiness or make your hair grow back any thicker it actually if anything helps to grow back thinner i've never got it epilated or threaded on my upper lip. I've gotten other things epilated and threaded on my other parts of my face and it does honestly hurt because it's taking them out like kind of one by one but like really quick so you can feel like all the pain throughout the whole thing rather than if you wax your upper lip it's kind of like in one piece so it's just one quick pain and that's it. So that's why I honestly like and I prefer to do facial hair wax because it just hurts less on the upper lip. The other product that I'm going to be showing you guys is an epilator. So I epilate my sideburns. So I recently got into epilating my sideburns from a YouTuber. Her YouTube name is Teresa Gerardo. Wait, am I saying that right? Teresa, yeah, Teresa Gerardo. And she basically shows on her channel a lot of beauty products and um, beauty ways to remove facial hair. So I will definitely leave her YouTube channel in the link down in the description because I love watching her videos. They're really interesting and she really does educate you on, you know, face products and what to not use on your face. So yeah, I do recommend watching her channel. I got into epilating my face, my sideburns because of Teresa Gerardo. So I actually fell in love with the first time I epilated my face and I've only done it once. So I'm going to show you guys the second round how to do it um so i purposely grew up my sideburn and i think it's been i'm trying to think how long it's been it's been i think it's been honestly probably about two or three weeks and oh my god okay, i'm gonna show you guys my hair but whatever I, I have to show you because i want you guys to see on how the epilator works so good and how it doesn't cause stubbiness whatsoever and i'm gonna just kind of explain what the epilator is so basically the epilator is kind of like threading but in a machine so basically it pulls out your hair one by one but like super super duper quick but it pulls it by the root and that's why your hair doesn't grow stubbiness or anything why doesn't epilating cause stubble or will it cause stubble it will not cause any kind of stubble and i have this adorable little diagram for you that you've probably seen a bunch of times but you know not from me this is your hair hair that grows in naturally ends in like this like kind of thin tip if you're gonna pull it out by its root you're just pulling it straight out now do you see anything here nothing because you've essentially pulled out the entire hair and it's got your body's gonna have to create a brand new one which is gonna go back like this 
another thin tip so it's gonna look completely natural when it regrows now if you take a razor what you're doing is and so you're left with that thing and guess what happens like a day later your hair starts growing and you see how big that tip is now that's why that's why i create stuff my hair looks right now so you can see my hair my elvis presley sideburns and you can obviously see my shadow on my mustache first i'm going to show you guys on how to remove your upper lip hair with facial hair wax i'm going to be showing you guys the product that i do use um i'm gonna do this first because here in a little bit i do have to go to my grandparents house so when i come back from my grandparents house i'm going to show you guys how to epilate your sideburns the only thing i don't do on my face on my own is my eyebrows i know how to do my own eyebrows but it just takes so long and i can take up to like an hour to an hour and a half working on these bad thick mother truckers because they're super thick they're oh my god they're super super thick so i just prefer not to use it because of the time and how long it takes me to do i actually get my eyebrows threaded i love getting my eyebrows threaded i recommend anybody who hates doing their eyebrows getting your eyebrows started it hurts a little bit but like it's so worth it and it's like less than five minutes that when they do your eyebrows oh my god they do it so fast and i think it's probably about anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars to get your eyebrows started and i also do get my my whole forehead threaded so yeah that's what i need to get done too as well so anyways let's get started in today's video officially i have already heated my facial hair wax okay so i'm going to show you guys the product that i do use it does say brazilian bikini wax and i guess that's for like down there you know for the brazilian wax but the reason why i use this wax i mean it makes no difference when i wax my hair it works out perfectly fine whenever i do it the reason why i prefer this one i get this one at sally's so this is the product that i do use and it's just green it's green uh wax and the reason why i like using this one is because i don't need the paper strips for it i could just put it on my face and y'all seen it in my previous videos where I just put it on my upper lip and then I let it dry and then I can easily peel it off without having to buy like papers for it. So that's why I like using this one rather than regular. There's nothing wrong with the regular ones, but I just like purposely using this one because it's just easier for me. Well, I just get a plastic fork or a spoon, whatever, anything plastic that I can use. Or you can even get um, wooden sticks, like the popsicle sticks. People use that. The professionals use that. I'm not professional, so... Before you use it, you really want to check the temperature of it. So if it's too hot, if you think it's too hot and you're unsure to put it straight on your lip, I recommend not putting it straight on your lip first. Check the temperature and how you can do that is you can put a little bit of hair wax on your hand to see the temperature. If it's too hot, obviously then don't put it on your upper lip. And if it feels fine and you can handle it, then go for it. Um, and also another way that you can tell if the wax is too hot is it's not supposed to be like water liquidy like nothing liquidy like that No, that's way too hot. It has to have like kind of like a thickness to it. I hope you can see But see how it's kind of <laughs> thick like that. That's what you want and I've done this for many years now So I've been doing this probably since I was like 15 So I already know what when it's too hot for me and I also blow it before I put it on directly on my face So I just get it Blow on it and I have a mirror here, so I'm gonna go over here and then just put it on like this. And then I just put it on like that. Oh my god, I forgot my headband. I forgot to put on my headband so my hair doesn't get caught. But yeah, so this is the first one. And then while this one dries, I put on the other side. Whew. So, yeah. And I grew out my mustache like to the fullest, to where it's fully grown. So this is really gonna hurt probably but at the same time i'm kind of used to it but no matter how many times i do it like i said in my la my previous video it'll always kind of still hurt unless you have a little bit of hair no it doesn't really hurt at all but i have a lot i have thick hair like my mom she was hairy when she was younger like my age and like younger of course and my dad oh my goodness my dad has so much hair so it was a losing situation for me i was gonna get i was gonna be a hairy kid Irregardlessly, so so all my my females or males who are hairy out there, I feel you, I get you, and I understand. So now that it's dry, I'm going to remove it. Uh, I'm so scared. I hate I hate doing this, but it has to be done. Beauty is pain. One, two.
Yep. Got hurt a little bit. Focus. Now after I do it with the little pieces left on my face, I just go over it with the piece I just took off and it takes it off like that. My mom showed me how to do this. My mom went to like cosmetology school, I think for like a good year or so, and so she taught me how to do this. My mom is really good at a lot of things. Ooh, this was a good one. So it's not gonna get it off in one piece, so you kinda just have to go over it again if it didn't remove everything, so that's what I'm gonna have to do. Round two. And I know I've heard that like waxing, going over like your skin with wax, facial hair wax over and over again is bad for your skin. But I kind of do that because I think this wax is probably about anywhere between twelve to fifteen dollars. So it's not gonna be the best wax, but it's just the one that I like to use. So it's not, it doesn't really get it off in one piece. It probably takes at least a good four times for it to fully come off. But I, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. Nothing harmful has happened to my upper lip or, you know, my skin. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering where I got my shirt, it's super cute. If you're wondering where I got it from, I got it from Walmart. Walmart's been coming in clutch with their clothes lately. And it was uh, $10 for the shirt. If you're red, that's totally normal. Obviously, what you can do to help with the redness to calm it down is I know a lot of people use baby powder or they'll use baby oil to put on their lip. I don't normally put anything on my lip. I'm used to it. It's fine. Everything turns out good. I'm done with the sides, so now I'm going to get started on to my middle right here. I'm going to look super, super weird, but I don't remember this number. <laughs> I like to purposely go kind of like a little bit into my nostril, just a little bit like the first area right there. Like I don't go all the way in, but I kind of get like the edge of my nostril so that way you can get my nose hairs too. I like them. <laughs> this is probably the most painful out of the whole thing is getting the very middle, especially right here. This part hurts the most. And right here in the nose can hurt sometimes. <sighs> I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay. I'm scared. All right. Mm. That one was a good one. Now I'm just gonna go over my middle part and just clean up anything that I missed. I am all finished with the hair removal on my upper lip. Mm, it came out great like it always does. And like I said, it's gonna be a little bit red and that is totally normal. All you have to do is just put a little bit of baby powder or baby oil if you wanna calm down that redness. I don't put anything like I said. It'll go away on its own. Can't you guys see the difference of my lip? Like there's no shadow whatsoever on my lip. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna get started on the epilating when I come back. So basically guys, this is my grandpa has a whole ranch like this is all his land and all the trailer homes are like over there but he took the tractor and brought us all the way out here this is where my grandpa my grandma and like all my aunts and uncles this is where they grew up and like i guess there was a house here and oh my god this is an old computer so this is where the old stuff was at and i guess it's still here man this is mosquito piece This is old guys, this is from like decades ago. Yeah, I kind of want that bottle. That has to be There's only one way we can find out. <laughs> that wouldn't touch it though. I know, me too, but I can't. Dude, I'm getting f***ed up by mosquitoes. This is crazy. What is that, a lamp? Oh my god, have you seen this? Uh, I don't know. I went through like a car walk with grandpa and my mom. Like, a jar? I kind of want to clean that jar, but it's rusty. A VCR here, and I just 
Is that a sweater? Heels. Yeah, you weren't playing paintball. The toys right here. Wow. See this green cushion right there? Peeking out. The green cushion and then there's that. <gasps> what the heck? Is this a... Whose car is this? Whose car is that? These are old Not as much as mine. No, you are not. <laughs> Carity. Look at Carity. Look. <laughs> uh, for why? You are not going to take this. Oh my god. Nothing's changed. Okay, so I am back from my grandparents' ranch. I am honestly pretty super tired. As you can tell, I look a little worn out, but I'm gonna proceed with this video and I'm gonna show you guys how I epilate my sideburns. If you hear any, you know, crunching in the background, that's my dogs eating, because we just got home, so they're hungry, they've been in their kennels, you know, probably half the day, so yeah. So first, we're gonna start off with washing our hands real quick. Alrighty, so I just washed my hands and now we're gonna get started on epilating. So this is the product that I use on my sideburns. This is I call it an epilator. I absolutely love this product. I totally recommend this product to anybody, especially if you if you're constantly growing, you know, facial hair and you just want to remove it yourself. It's easy, super easy, very convenient. I totally recommend this product. I will also leave my products down below in the description, like the hair removal wax and also the epilator this product is amazing and it was only like 30 or 40 dollars i believe and also it's a foreign one so it comes with like a little foot scrubber it has like a little i don't know how to say it, like a scrubber for the bottom of your feet it has a little razor uh not a razor but it's like a bl not a blade has a little, I guess you can say, like a razor head, like a sh like an automatic um, a hair blade, so that way you can just shave, I guess. And then it also has that blade apart and something else. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so I got my hair up and everything ready to, you know, do my sideburns. You definitely want to put your hair up and also wear a headband, so that way you're not getting any of your actual hair. <laughs> I look like a little mess right now, but yeah, I'm just going to go with it. I'm a little nervous to, to show you guys my, my sideburn hair, but you know what? I want to be like, I want to show you guys, you know, how it grows back. I want to be, I want to show you guys everything and stuff. So yeah, this is my sideburn hair right now. As you can tell, as you can see that it's growing. It's been about, I would say two to maybe three weeks since I epilated my sideburns for the first time. And this is how much hair that's grown back. So it's honestly not that bad. Um, I love it and it doesn't grow back stubbiness, it doesn't grow back thicker. I absolutely love it. And for me, having Elvis Presley sideburns, you know, it kind of really hurt the first time kind of a lot because I had my full grown hair and everything. So I want to see how it feels with it being, you know, barely grown a little bit. So there's not really that much hair to epilate. There is a lot of hair, but not as bad as I, oh, not nearly as bad as it was when I first did it. So this is the epilator. Comes with a little shield for it after you're done using it. It also came with a little brush to clean it out right here, but I have no idea where it went. I think it probably fell out of the box. It's probably under the sink, cause that's where I leave it at. And then it also comes with the charger cause you have to charge it, of course. For it to not die so it comes with these four heads comes with the epilator head i don't know what this one is i have to read about it and see what this is if any of you guys know let me know down in the description because i'm not sure this is the scrubber for your feet i have not used it yet so i can't tell you my review on it yet um and then it comes with a little i guess a little razor blade to just shave down there if you want
So again, I am no expert at epilating, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and how I do my sideburns now. So basically what I do and how I was taught by that YouTuber that I watch, I grab the epilator and I just go up and I just do circular motion, slight circular motion. And it just pulls your hair pretty much. And yeah, it's basically like threading. It hurts a little bit if you don't have that much hair, but if you have a lot of hair, gonna hurt the first time and just keep up with it and it should not hurt afterwards so it does have a high mode setting which is cool and then it has a low and then it has a low setting it has a low setting and then it has a high setting i just use the high setting just for it to get it quickly and faster i pull i pull all my actual hair out of the way so it does not escalate that part You can probably see the hair fly out in the video. Oh yeah, it hurts a little bit. And it will get a little red. Because it's pulling your hair, of course. So I pretty much got most of it. And then what I like to do is I like to go over just a little further out into my cheek right here. So it can kind of blend. Because I have a hairy face as well. But I personally don't like to shave my full face um, just due to like, I just feel like if I were to shave my face, I would get more acne because I thread my whole forehead. Um, and when I thread it, I do tend to break out sometimes. And I, that's just me. I just feel like when you shave your whole face or remove all your hair on your face, it just, you have more open pores and just for more bacteria to go into those pores and cause acne. Knowing myself, I'm not the best at washing my face every single night i wash my face every single morning um but not every single night because i don't wear makeup every day the only time i do wash my face at nighttime is when is when i do wear makeup because i never see the makeup on my face and i'm not bothered by the peach fuzz that's on my face so yeah but i just kind of go a little bit out so that way it's just not like a line that's split from my hair and then what i epilated so i just go a little bit out here to blend just to blend it and look natural and then with the pieces that kind of got like chopped a little bit i don't know if y'all can see it but like kind of got chopped and it just doesn't look that natural i'll just get a tweezer and i'll go in and i'll just pull those hairs so i finished with this side and this is just how it looks so it looks very natural i love the outcome of it so much now let's get onto this side So I'm all fully finished on doing my upper lip and my sideburns. This is the outcome of it. Looks really natural. Looks great. Love the outcome. I love, love the outcome of the upper lip. This is my second time using it and it didn't hurt nearly as much as it did the first time when I've had my full grown hair. So like I said, I totally recommend this epilator and the, face, the facial hair removal wax. I will leave them down in the description for you guys. I cannot explain how much I flip and love that epilator so much. It was a life changer for me because my sideburns are so bad. Like, I'm not even over exaggerating. Like they're so freaking bad. So me being able to do them myself is just like freaking amazing if you guys enjoyed today's video on my little hair removal routine slash tutorial and little vlog at my grandpa's as much as i did i had so much fun today please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of these videos in the future of like little tutorials let me know down in the description so yeah thank you guys so 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 much for watching if you like today's video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications if you want to get notified every sunday when i do upload my videos so yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye thank you so much guys for watching love y'all